Hey guys, it's Jennifer, aka Creole Azucar. Um, this video is going to be very different for me. Um, I'm sure it looks different to you just, you know, starting it up right now. Um, I asked you guys a while back if you would be interested in a room tour. Um, I just moved um, into a new place in July. And I figured this would be the perfect time to do it because I'm going to be showing you and talking about my wax warmers, where I place them, how I use them, um, and also giving you a glimpse into my wax storage. So I kind of figured this would all tie in together just so you guys could get a scope of like how big my room is, where I place my warmers and all that good stuff. Um... I may look a little crazy, the room may look a little crazy, but if I waited until I felt I looked perfect and the room looked perfect, this video may never go up. So, um, we're going to get started. I'm going to turn you guys around um, and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, guys, so we're in my room now. I apologize if the lighting is crazy, but I'm standing by my front door, so this is kind of what you see when you step in. Um, so there's my bathroom obviously through there and there's the front door where I just was. So as you can see on this end table next to my bed, um, I have my Glade warmer right here. So I have one on this side and then I have one on the um, other side on my other end table, um, which is right here. So both of these are the Glade. I believe they're, tw yeah, they're 20 watt warmer. So I have one blue one, one white one. It is what it is. So I have two of them in my room. Um, so, and that's kind of like what my ceiling has going on. So I do find that I prefer to have two. I'm glad I have two. It's working well for me. Um, so yeah, so as far as my wax storage goes, those boxes under here, that's all wax. And then I have one right there. And then on the other side of my bed, um, I have my others. So I do have them broken down by um, vendor. Um, all the way over there is Haley's. These two right here are Night Owl. Um, this one is like random stuff that I got from D stashes and friends. So I have a little bit of sniff my tarts in there. I have some, um, vintage chic scents. Um, can't remember what else. This one is Dessa and actually, let me see. I think the other one might be Dessa. Oh, this is VCS Glitterati miscellaneous stuff. Uh oh, what's this one? Oh yeah, this is random. So this is Lilac Sensations, and then some Sniff My Tarts, and some Flaming Star Scents. And then this one right here is um, Dessa, more Flaming Star Scents, and my um, Candles by Victoria. So the bulk of my stash is actually out, and I just recently organize it like this just because these are the boxes that I'm in the most and have so much up. So all four of these boxes right here, one, two, three, four, are all front porch. So the top box is my um, bakery bags of 12 grubbies. Um, this one is mostly my four packs. That's all individual grubbies. <laughs> And that's all individual grubbies. So I might do a sneak peek in there. We'll see. And on the other side of my armoire, I have um, some boxes right here. So this top one is stuff that I've already melted where I just have the container. So I will be doing videos on that very soon. I'm going to ask you guys for your feedback. And I got a lot of wonderful and positive feedback where you guys do want me to talk about what I've been melting. So I will be doing those next. Um, the next box is a D-stash that I got, which is candles from the keeping room. Um, this is the stuff that I got from Up the Creek Scents. That is... Ooh, I can't remember what those two bottom boxes are. So I'll probably pull them out so you guys can see. Um, 
this one right here is just like all my invoices that I've got, all the business cards, all like the extra um, polypropylene boxes, uh, bags that I've gotten and stuff. So that's just like a miscellaneous box right here. Um, this top one is my Sassy Girl Aroma, I think, yeah. So that's Sassy Girl Aroma, and this is Sense of Soy back here that I just got um, for my son's fundraiser. I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so that's where that went. The box underneath it that says Peace on it, that is my um, Tiffany Candles. This one down here is my Rose Girls. This one right here is my um, Rocket Melts. And then... The one below it is my um, Super Tarts. So this one kind of worked out just because of the height of it that I'm able to fit my half BAMs in here. Um, and you can see it's like filled to the brim with my clammies. So I need to try to make the Casper fit in there. So that really is my storage and I'm sorry I know I didn't talk about this side this right here this box is 10 digit creations um this box right here is more sassy um this one I think is oh, more sassy my loaf Wow, I didn't realize I had that much sassy. Okay, this is um, OPT. And then that's just like a random box of stuff. So this is my bathroom, guys. You walk in, that's my shower. It is tiny. My tub, window, my countertop. This over here is like my wax area basically and you can see I have another Glade warmer in here so that's my only one for the bathroom I wish I could have two in here but this is like the only place where there's a plug so that's that um, that's my closet this is like where all my hair stuff is so that's that closet <laughs> that's where my toilet is and that is the bedroom so um, you know, I always talk about trying to have the same scent in my bathroom as I do in my bedroom. That's just me. Even though I've noticed lately, they really don't cross over. As far as, I mean, I have to have something super duper strong in here for it to overpower what I have in my bedroom. So I am going to try to, you know, mix it up a little bit. This, you're probably like, what is this doing in here? This I actually use to dump my wax in. I have one million of these envelopes that my wax has come in and it just fits in the sink. So I just am able to dump in there and be on with it. And then, you know, this is like where I have all the napkins when I dump to wipe my stuff out. I have my um, cutter right here. And then another box. So this is just like miscellaneous stuff. Stuff that I'm hoping to like melt during the week. Um, so that's that. Um, I wanted to show you guys the other warmers that I keep downstairs. So this one I actually got from Michael's. And you can see how big this dish is. Like this dish is huge. This is actually two pieces of a clamshell. And you can see how much space you really have left in there. So this is a 24 watt um, hot plate warmer that I got from Michaels. I don't think it was on sale, but I had a coupon for it. So it was a really good deal. So this is the one that I keep downstairs right on like the ledge um, that borders the kitchen and my living room. Um, and it does fairly well down there. I most of the time I only melt down there like Hello Lover or something that I know is very, very strong. This is actually Casper from Super Tarts and it did really well downstairs. Um, so that's that one. And then the other one that I have is this um, Mainstay one and I got this from Walmart. I can't remember how much it was. Um, this is also a 24 watt. This one I keep in my son's bathroom. 
Um, sometimes I will move it around if I need to, but mainly I keep it in his bathroom, which is downstairs also. So normally I will have one or the other on because I'll have different scents in them and whatever I have in this one will actually throw from his bathroom throughout the whole downstairs, which is crazy. Um, my only gripe about this one, like, do you see how small this dish is? Like, in comparison to this one, like if I sit it in there, how small it is, even if I like come over here that would fit like inside it's very very um shallow um and very small and then you can see this is the heating mechanism so this whole entire thing unlike these like if you're picking this up to dump it it is warm it's not hot because you can hold it up here like even this one right now you can tell the wax is melted but i can lift it up is it super warm yeah but you know what I mean? I can manage it. With this one, because the whole entire dish is contained in there, it is super hot. Like, there's no way that I, this may just be me, I can never just pick this up like this to dump it. Like, I have to get a paper towel, put it over it, and then hold it. So, that's my only gripe about that one. Um, but it does do, you know, well. Um, I will say that I have started using the freezer method. Like, I will turn my um, warmers off um, before I go to work and put my dishes in the freezer and then pop the wax out when I get home. And that saves me a lot of mess. It saves me time when I get home. I don't have to have the wax, like, warm up so that I can dump it. Um, you know, I can just toss it in the garbage and keep it moving. So... That is pretty much that. Um, if you would like to see more of my storage um, or my stash, let me know. I guess I can open up. You know, if you want to end the video here, you can. Um, otherwise, I'll kind of go through the boxes that I didn't go through. So, like I said, this is Sassy. Um, this one here is my Tiffany's candles so you can see right here I have a scoop of bowl that I haven't used yet I have some bakery bags of mini pumpkins and then the teddy bears um, and I will be talking about kind of each vendor individually when I do my what have I been melting videos um, so that's that one and then this is my two Rose Girls D sashes and my sampler that I got so I got these bakery bags in a D stash. I got um, these chunks and pies in a D stash, and then these are what I got in my sampler. So that's those. Like I said, this one is just like the empty stuff. You can see it's overflowing. I need to get those videos out like ASAP. Um, so this, I believe, is my candles by Victoria. I mean, my candles in the keeping room. D sash. I have not melted one thing from that. Problem. This is oh, so there's still some desks in here. This is the brittle that I got, and then this is the Up the Creek scent that I got. Um, and I actually pulled that out yesterday. I kind of wish I would have just bit the bullet and either bought something custom or the smelly stand because nothing is labeled in there so it's kind of crazy to figure out what's about oh this is butterfly lane scents i got the halloween sampler and then i got some individual cups and i will talk about this vendor in depth um later and then this one is oh this is my over pour that i got from um, oh my gosh, it's slipping my whole brain right now. And nothing is labeled, so I don't think I'm going to be able to tell you, but I did have an unboxing video on this. Why can't I figure it? So I'm gonna do here. No, of course not. You know what I'm talking about. You watch the video. <laughs> okay, and then I'll show you guys like my, oh, this is 10 digit creations in here. So that's that. 
I'll talk about them too when I talk about my when I've been melting video. So this is front porch. So like I said, these are my 12 um, pack bakery bags. So I only have four of those. I had to move all kind of stuff around to be able to deal with this front porch. So I have my, this is my peppermint sampler right here. And then these are all like my four packs. And my clamshells. And then these are all individual grubbies that I kind of tried to organize. Like this is all pink. Um, this is all like the mint stuff. I don't know. It's kind of random. So the and these are like my mystery grubbies back here. And then in the bottom box as well are more individual grubbies. So this is organized. This is all like the bread scents. This is like Fruit Loops. This is blueberry, um, bakery. Yeah. So that's that. So definitely don't need much more wax. So that's all guys. I hope this video wasn't too all over the place. Um, I hope you can get a sense now of like how the layout of my room and bathroom is and see my warmers all the way over there and why I have to and all that. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, anything under the sun please feel free to leave them in the description box below and i will see you in my next video bye